Hey everyone, I missed ya. We're playing more Pokemon. Look at what my feet are doing. That's gotta hurt. Dude, my character is so freaking talented. <laughs> Look at the feet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not 100% sure if we're beating the game today, but um, whatever it is, we're on the path to definitely go punch God in the dick. I was having the freaking dojo training lady teach me a bunch of coverage moves on my Pokemon. Like, I gave freaking Harriet my hair across, gave him Thunder Punch. We're gonna go right up to God's face and we're gonna be like, bro, we're demanding better genetics. In case we are heading into the light today, I want to take a peek at the squad. Look at this. This is what we're bringing. This is what we're bringing in to go fight angels. I'm telling you, freaking squad goals right here. Basically, I just want to jump right into it. I want to see how toxic the end game gets here. Uh, we're, we got a we got an eighth star to get real quick. I want to know what an eighth star looks like on my little passport or whatever they give me. When we finish this and get the shiny charm, <laughs> this is gonna be my crowning achievement. I swear. Ooh, jet balls. Okay. I, you know what? I should not be crashing those into Pokemon. That feels wrong. This is gonna come in handy right here when I have to super glue my Pokemon's body parts back together. This battle's gonna be epic. Let's make sure I'm like at least halfway prepared, maybe? I'm probably over prepared, but it's a, it's a Pokemon endgame. We're, we're probably gonna be fine. Game Freak, you didn't sneak a Dark Souls endgame into this, did you? We've been through so much together, I think I can finally call this man my dad. Each of the Pokemon nobles became frenzied, and now each of them has been quelled. I still don't really know what quelling means, but yeah, sure, you're welcome. <laughs> Dad. <laughs> we still have no explanation for why this calamity befell us, but I'm glad to see it put to an end. And to think peace would be restored to Hasui by the hand of our mysterious Riftborn helper. That's right, a 12 year old with a Gumi mask. Save the world. Why are you making that face, dude? Are you relieving yourself right here, right now? You couldn't wait? <laughs> when tomorrow dawns, it will dawn on a world restored to normalcy. At long last, we will be able to return to our normal lives. Okay, don't jinx it. Dude, you are throwing mad jinxing vibes into the freaking universe right now. You know what? This is our last meal. You could have done something special, like tacos or something. I hate to think of what kind of havoc the frenzied nobles would have wrecked if Chainsaw never came to us. Okay, stop with the compliments. You're making the freaking potato mochi taste too good. Now he'll never make us tacos. Still, even with all the nobles quelled, the rift doesn't seem to be closing, huh? I mean, we could plug it up with like an alpha Snorlax or something. Let's try that. <laughs> Although, wait, if the rift were to disappear, would that mean Chainsaw would be stuck here? No, don't let that happen, please. If that happens, I'd never be able to play Breath of the Wild too. Well, our little team is certainly very practiced at investigating things by now. We'll look into the matter and find a solution. <laughs> You're really good at investigating things? Is that what you call it when you stand outside my freaking windows every night? God, could you please chill? Disaster looming? I just wanted to freaking get a normal night's rest. Just one. All right, who got blown up? As long as it, well, as long as it wasn't a Rezu, I'm fine. Oh, the sky. Hey, did you guys all see the apocalypse too? Oh, good. This doesn't look good. The, yeah. Oh my gosh. The apocalypse is just great this time of the year. <laughs> we should have plugged that thing up with an Alpha Snorlax when we had the chance. Some sort of dreadful energy seems to be pouring from the rift in space time. Now the entire sky has gone red. Gosh dang it. Yeah, I think I'm assuming that God forgot to pay some kind of space time bill. You're to report to his office at once. This seems like a really big deal. Can't he just come down here and talk and just let us know? Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> we'll just teleport up there, perfect. Hmm. The way the sky has changed, it is ominous. Very ominous indeed. Am I allowed to quit, or do I have to put in in two weeks? The first strike of that strange lightning, the one that drove Cleavor into a frenzy. It struck the night that Chainsaw Realm from fell from the sky, did it not? Hang on a sec, don't blame this on me. It's not my fault that I got sucked into my switch like it's frickin' Jumanji or something. It only seems natural to think that the two events might be linked in some way. Ugh. Who and what are you really, Chainsaw? I'm beginning to think that I don't have to quit. I actually think I'm getting fired. <laughs> uh, I don't really know. No one's told me anything. I, have n I haven't had any clue what's been going on this whole time. You came from the rift, as did the lightning. You're connected to these frenzies, are you not? Did you think to gain our trust by quelling the frenzies you yourself brought about? <laughs> oh god. 
Uh, I'm, I'm so evil, I don't know. Wait, maybe I am the villain. I never gave that guy the worm pull. That poor man. Hold on, Commander. Yes, thank you, Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> Come on, let's be reasonable. What is Chainsaw supposed to do then? She will be given the chance to investigate this latest disaster. But not as a member of the Galaxy Team. She remains a suspect unless she can clear her name. Oh my god, are you gonna go make me live with Uncle Ingo again? There are those in our village who cannot trust a stranger like you who fell from the sky. And so I must ask you to leave. You are no longer welcome. <laughs> what? Consider yourself banished from this village. Well, that's just great. I have two dads, and they both grounded me now. <laughs> You're to be expelled from the village? I know. I didn't think that I was supposed to pay my taxes, you know? But, uh, I guess they have taxes here. Oh, no. Can I go? Please? No. Please, give me the wormpole. I can't. I'm sorry. Oh, I've made so many mistakes. This actually feels so brutal. This is so bad. No. Arezu. No. Please, let me stay. <laughs> okay, I'm coming. Jeez. What kind of walk of shame is this? Oh, my gosh, Pokemon. <laughs> hey. Oh, come on, bro. Oh my gosh, it's fine. I hope the Bidoofs eat your flesh in the nighttime. We can take it from here, ma'am. <laughs> That's fine. I like it out in the wilderness better anyway. But I never liked freaking Benny's potato mochi anyways. Do you hear that crazy piano track playing? <laughs> I just imagine Arceus is up there at the top of that freaking mountain just like slamming on. Piano keys with his little stubs. <laughs> Don't die alone out there. That's an order. Oh, I got three dads now. <laughs> this is awesome. How others choose to view you is a choice only they can make. You cannot make it for them. Okay, Pokemon. Getting so deep. Honestly, the apocalypse is kind of pretty. All right, let's go find that little cowboy kid. Honestly, I'm like surprised that all the Pokemon aren't like mutated. I don't want to call it before it happens, but I feel like it would be super cool if like every single Pokemon was an alpha. Hey, what's up, dude? I got banished. You want to hang out sometime? No? Okay. Yeah. Yep. That makes a lot of sense, actually. At least my grandpa deer horse still loves me. That is, <laughs> that is some A plus news. Wait, we forgot about weird deer. I got four dads. Hey, um, it's dangerous out here. You guys should go back to the village. I don't know if you noticed, but you know, the sky is purple. Come on, take out my adorable balloons with your Pokemon. Now is not the time. The guy acts like he invented balloons. Actually, I think this is the first known recording of balloons. So he actually quite well might, might have invented balloons actually. I know I could have fast traveled, but I'm kind of just admiring the new vomit sky. Dad partied a little too hard last night, and now freaking space and time is all messed up. This is just an Arceus hangover right now. Did you freaking party with Arceus last night? Jesus, dude, go take a shower. That took him so long to- <laughs> I think he's still halfway drunk from last night, honestly. His freaking eyes were still bloodshot. That man has to brush his teeth. Oh my gosh. You know, they're lucky I'm not vengeful. I could just stroll in there with all my Pokemon. I could level that town. Howdy. Do you want to listen to Brad Paisley with me? Oh my god. <laughs> this is the apocalypse. You, what in the world did you do? <laughs> Look at the size of that rift. Children are so judgmental these days. I swear. <laughs> I should have known that the only thing that would come from that rift was disaster. I mean, it is like a gigantic black hole with like lightning and evilness coming out of it. What did you expect, little man? <laughs> uh, I need help. <laughs> I could have just said never mind then. Ah, well, that's not exactly something I can do. Okay, well, are there any other cowboys around that can help me? It's not that I wouldn't like to help you. But it would put Arita in a difficult position. Uh, okay. None of you guys like me now? What do you all have against the color purple? I think it looks nice. I guess my only friend is the balloon race guy. I'm gonna have to accept that. Warden May might be able to help you though. She's a caring woman after all. I already have four dads, okay? I don't think I could handle having a mom too. I love how these machokes are literally like... <laughs> Standing on the edge of space and time, watching the apocalypse like, Oh my god. I just ate my last frickin' protein bar that I'll ever get. Oh sh I think he's crying. Oh, sorry bud. 
Okay, don't act all tough. We all know you were crying. I love how this Machoke is like, <laughs> I wouldn't bang this Chansey if it was the last freaking Pokemon on Earth. <laughs> and then he's like, oh God, this is all I get. This is all I got. <laughs> so why is it that the game never gave me like an ability to like break these? Like I can't hit him with my Pokemon or anything. Don't you even dare. All right, I quit. I'm just turning the game off. I'm at the literal... <laughs> I'm at the end of the game, and I just figured out that I can do that? I am literally gonna go throw up. All right, my. I know you don't want to, but we're gonna have to evolve your Munchlax into a Snorlax. It's the only way to clog up that freaking space-time rift. My, my, what a frightful sky. We're all gonna die. <laughs> you're, you're so good at rhyming. <laughs> you don't know what brought this all about, do you? Are you kidding me? I don't even know how to learn from my own mistakes. How do you think I know anything? I heard from our leader what happened. You can't return to that village of yours, can you? I uh, well, I've been trying to grow a mustache so that I can sneak back in there, but it's not going so well, actually. <laughs> but I'm afraid the Diamond Clan cannot be the one ones to save you. The Great Weird Deer took a liking to you. When I feed him, food gets stuck in his beard, and I don't have anyone to talk to about it. I hope the guard in front of Mount Coronet is okay. <laughs> oh, hang on, here I am, questioning my life decisions. Oh, my little homie, what's up, dude? I like this, though. It's like trying to say that even the, like, mean Pokemon are scared and confused, too, you know? That is wholesome. All right, who's sneaking up on me? I have terrible reflexes. Strange events seem to follow you wherever you go, don't they? Ugh. Dude, I already have four dads. I can't have a fifth one. I've been looking all over for you, you know? Oh, well, maybe I've been looking for you, bro. What would I do if I were to lose one of my favorite customers? I said this before, but I have not bought a single thing from you in my whole entire life, dude. Don't worry, I've already heard what happened. Oh wait, you know about the whole thing where I still ate a donut after it fell on the ground? It seems you're in quite the pinch. No place for you among the Diamond Clan or the Pearl Clan. No, I, I live with Ingo now, it's fine. There are still corners of the Hisui region where we can stash you away in secret. Oh good, I can be like those cookies that you, you put in the total back of the cupboard so the little kids can't find them. <laughs> I know a spot that will be the perfect hideaway. Leave it all up to me. Great, cause I trust you so much. Here we are. Oh, great. My parents always told me not to trust strangers, but maybe that's like an outdated thing by now, you know? <laughs> I know, I know. It's no palace. But you know, the saying about beggars and choosers. <laughs> All I wanted to do was live with Ingo, and then CPS sends me here. Oh, wait, you let me live with a goth lady? <gasps> okay, this is cool. Shirking your work to come pester me again, even beneath a bleeding sky, you never change. Oh, she said bleeding sky? I like this lady already. Always a pleasure, Mistress Kogita. That sounds like a disease. Oh God, it's Lady D from Resident Evil. <laughs> I'm, in, I'm in danger, but I think this is the good kind of danger. Ah, the poor wretch you spoke of, lost in time and space. <laughs> she called me a wretch. I loved it. Dear me, lost one. It seems I'll be able to fulfill my duty at long last, thanks to you. Oh, you're gonna turn me into a vampire? That's to I'm okay with that, do it. Come, you may enter my dear hideaway. There's much to be told. Oh, you guys, I bet you she has all the old Nine Inch Nails records in there. Oh my god, it smells like flowers in here. <laughs> a lot better than Uncle Ingo's house, it just smelled like pee. The space-time rift is said to be a portal to innumerable other dimensions. Seriously though, a minute ago when I said I didn't want a mom, <laughs> okay? Um, can I just stay here and make potions with you and stuff? I'll garden with you, you know? You need, you want, you need a, a help? You need a hand around the house? The expanse from antiquity to eternity and the expanses to all sides above and below. Okay, she's talking all super poetic. She is definitely going to be drinking my blood here in a second. Time traces the path we tread from the here and the now into the future, while space yawns all encompassingly surrounding us in every direction. Who are you cooking in that crock pot? You see, don't you, the two together, time and space, comprise all creation, the universe? 
Oh my gosh, yeah, I know. You, you guys are gonna make me go fight the two big lizard dudes. Now listen, lost one. Here is what you must do. No, I'm not lost. This is where I live now. I want to live here with you, please. Hisui holds three lakes of great importance. Lake Verity, Lake Valor, and Lake Acuity. At each dwells a Pokemon said to embody one aspect of the mind. Complete the trials each will set you and bear their gifts to the shrouded ruins. I'm beginning to think that we're not fighting God today. Which is fine, because I have so much to live for now. Right here. Oh wait, hold up, my dad is texting me. Yes, yes, I saw the apocalypse. There's dinner for me in the fridge. Alright. Oh my god, that's so adorable. This is the, um, the lady's Abra. Oh my gosh, he's gonna help us, like, teleport our Pokemon from the village if we need them. Oh my gosh. Every- I thought this was- I thought this place was secret. I thought I was gonna get some alone time with the witch lady. Long story short, we want to help, but without drawing attention. So it'll be just one of us. Oh. You- I get to pick who I want to live with? You guys are getting a divorce? Me or her? It's up to you. Though the answer should be obvious. <laughs> oh, okay, that's a lot of pressure, bro. One of you gets me throughout the week and the other one can just get me on weekends. It's it's easy. This is really hard to pick because like one has really weird shoes and the other one's a Sega character. So I don't know if this like affects the game, but I'm scared of that shirtless guy that she freaking has hanging out at her town. So I'm going with this guy. Obviously, you'll choose me, right? Who gave you that Celestica flute in the first place? All oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're the guy who gave me the freaking broken instrument. All right, well, that was easy. Do I have to, like, sign any papers or anything? <laughs> All right, let's go to a lake and hide from God. He can't get- he can't find us on vacation. That's <laughs> how it all works. So where are you headed? Here we go. Awesome. Which lake do we want to go to first? I don't know. So I chose the chili lake. We're gonna go find that man without a shirt. Because <laughs> now that it's the apocalypse, there's no rules. I'm gonna push him off like a- a mountain or something. What's up, you poor little monkey? You don't deserve all this anxiety. Oh my god. <laughs> he thinks he's so much bigger than he actually is. That's so cute. Good god, we all know you murdered someone. You don't have to freaking... <laughs> oh, you don't have to freaking tell me. Poor Lucas. I knew Glalie would snap eventually. It's just a matter of time before Glalie kills every single man, woman, and child in that freaking village over there. Who's shooting green balls at me? Was it you? You're half the man Goku was. Is. Is Goku dead? <laughs> I don't know. Go. Run over your child. Assert your dominance. Okay. Just so you know, I was trying to hit him. It's okay. I have weird deer insurance. Oh, would you look at that? Guess what? I can freaking break into this cave now. Go, Squeeze. Do your thing. Throw a bunch of freaking green perfume at it again. <laughs> Asparagus perfume is a weird choice. That's it? Oh, there's a wisp! Oh, never mind! <laughs> hey, buddy. Can't you tell the sky is the color of death? You should come home to me. It's past your bedtime anyways. Oh, there we go. Now I know where all the spoons in my cupboards keep going. Let's see if I can freaking jump scare him. Hiya! It's me! <laughs> oh, you- Oh, you already saw me flying over with that- With my giant bird? Okay. Here we are. Lake Acuity. You know, I've been told it actually contains seawater as well. Remind me to bring you to trivia night at the frickin' local karaoke restaurant bar. Lake Acuity is protected by the Pokemon Little Ooxievert. <laughs> when Ooxie took flight, the knowledge to solve problems was born in people's minds. Hold up, my dad is texting me again. <laughs> no, I will not tell you what yeet means. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, dang. I wish my phone could do that. Oh, jeez. I didn't know there was going to be a Shimigami Tensei boss in here. What the heck? Oh. I know you don't need me to tell you this, Chainsaw, but I've still got to say it. Be careful. <laughs> wow. You are so helpful. Why did I pick you? All right, Queen. This thing's only weakness is darkness, which is really ironic because we're in a dark cave. Anyway, you've been gaslighting your boyfriend really well for the past three months, so I think you got this. Oh, gosh. <laughs> please. Hey, pl hey, could you please not claw me to death? Holy smokes, he's being nasty. Don't do it. Don't worry, you guys. I'm going straight for his shins. Let's see how this does. 
Oh my god, I smacked him so good. All right, Harriet. It's n now's your time to shine. <laughs> this freaking customer is out of control. Show him what it feels like to get a free meal. Oh my god. I knew you were cut out for customer service. You feel a mysterious presence. Yeah, I know. Adamant is standing right next to me. Don't worry about it. Oh, you mean that guy. All right, Cindy, you got this? This is the dude who just created all the brains in the freaking universe. Bro, why are you zoning out? All right, well, Cindy has no clue what day of the week it is, but she's gonna try her best. Is it talking to me? Come, I will test your knowledge. Oh, no, 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 no. When I say I have a big brain, I'm just joking about it in the Let's Plays. <laughs> Combi, Zubat, Unknown, Magneton, Dusclops. Oh, God. This isn't a spelling bee, is it? How many are their eyes? Tell me each one by one, yet all at once. Answer me. What? Uh, can you repeat that? Oh my gosh. Combi has six eyes. Zubat is a zeroed eye freakazoid. Unknown has one freaking eyeball. I'm ready to answer. <laughs> Learning was my worst subject in school. My god, I have the memory of a goldfish. <laughs> my short term memory is terrible. Zero, one, Magneton has three, Dusclops has one. <laughs> Did I get it? Oh, did I do it? I told you guys I got straight A's. <laughs> Take this piece of the spirit to bind the world once more. Oh, what? You're giving me a piece of th the spirit of the world? No, that's just a napkin. Nasty. You snotted all over that, didn't you? Okay. Okay. Well, I thought we were going to catch it. <laughs> Two more to go. You're not helping. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode... <laughs> We're gonna do the last two lakes and then start the end game. I really thought we were gonna freaking fight God today. I'm sorry. I really thought. Sorry, I I tickled your your brain feelings. Anyways, next episode, let's get freaking wild. Please hit the buttons if you want. Hit the subscribe and the thumbs up. I love y'all. People. Goodness. Bye.